I want to talk about how you can make twice as much progress in the gym going half as much. Trust me, it's not what you think. We've all wondered how to continue making progress in the gym, and to me, the answer doesn't lie in going more. In reality, how to maximize gym results has everything to do with what happens outside of the gym. So let's start there. Think about it, if you're going to the gym seven days a week, an hour each time, that's not even 5% of your week. So why do we put so much focus on 5% and not the 95%? I think we've overemphasized working out because we large in part live a sedentary life compared to our agrarian days. That mixed with social media, working out is the sexy thing to do to improve our health. These three factors might be the reason you ask yourself, why am I not progressing in the gym? Factor one to make more gains with less gym time, fix your sleep. Now I don't mean you have poor sleep quality. I mainly mean you're sabotaging yourself by going to bed and waking up at different times every day. You wanna get on a schedule and the main reason is for hormone regulation. We are huge creatures of habit and when we get consistent with sleep, our body knows it can rely on the flushing of stress hormones, muscle repair, turning short-term memory into long-term memory and countless other benefits. If you're constantly sleeping and waking at random times, your body doesn't know when to expect a system repair. Less stress hormones that prevent muscle growth and more muscle repair is a great way to maximize gym gains without ever needing to spend an extra second there. Some of the ways you can get better sleep is to get off devices two hours before bed, eat no later than two hours before bed, dim the lights, read a book, go through your beauty routine, take a warm shower, play ambient sounds, and consider taking a magnesium supplement for extra relaxation. Factor two to progress faster in the gym while going less, fix your food. Now I by no means am pushing diet culture saying what you're eating isn't good, but it's more how you're eating. Let's envision a food pyramid, and not the one you learned in grade school. At the bottom is calories, that's your base. If your goal is to lose weight but you're constantly overeating, who cares what you're doing because it's never gonna happen. You're taking in too much and nothing can fix that. On the flip side, if your goal is to gain muscle and you're constantly under eating, it's the same thing, just in the opposite direction. The next level up on the pyramid is macronutrients, which is a fancy way of saying what percent of your calories come from carbs, fat, and protein. Feeling sluggish throughout the day? You could be too low on carbs. Been eating in a caloric deficit but still not seeing the scale move? You could be eating too much fat. Haven't seen any muscle growth recently? you could be too low on your protein. If you have your intake dialed in, this is how we can buckle down further. Next up is nutrient timing. When are you eating your meals? This is especially important when it comes to working out. If you skip breakfast but plan to work out midday, you could feel zapped before you even start as you have no fuel in you. Conversely, you could end up eating too close to a workout and that can mess with your stomach if you're more sensitive. This is also important for blood sugar regulation throughout the day. And finally, at the very top of the pyramid is supplements. They are just that, supplemental to your diet. Meaning if you can't eat enough whole foods to satisfy all nutrition levels throughout the day, you can add in a supplement to get you there. In my experience, the only supplement worth taking is creatine. I made a whole video on that, so if you wanna check it out, you can click here. If you're not having enough food to fuel your goals, workouts, and keep your blood sugar regulated, this could be why you're not making progress in the gym. An easy tip I found is the 50-50 method. Fill half your plate with veggies, the other half with grains and protein, and always eat the veggie half first. That ensures you're getting plenty of carbs in and allows you to feel guilt-free tearing into that steak and potatoes. Still hungry and want seconds? Hell, go for thirds or fourths. Just make sure you load up the plate the same way and eat in the same order each time. And finally, the third factor to continue making progress in the gym. But first, if you made it this far, I appreciate you and invite you to subscribe for more content like this. Also, drop any of your fitness questions in the comments below if you got them. All right, so last one, movement throughout the day. If you're crushing it in the gym, but then sitting the rest of the day, your soreness could be lasting longer than necessary. Now, soreness isn't a bad thing. It lets us know we've done something. However, if you're too sore the next time we go into the gym, that could be affecting the quality of our workout.
Lower quality workouts mean less gains and less progress. Plus, getting out in the elements is good for your mood, and walking is the most underrated version of cardio out there, which I also made a video on, so check it out here. You don't have to go crazy with this one. Get out and walk leisurely or briskly if you feel up to it for 20 to 30 minutes a day, and you'll be surprised at how great you feel getting into your next workout. These three factors are how I've made twice as much progress in the gym, going half as much. But don't take my word for it. Try it out yourself. Coaching, programs, and free stuff can be found in the description to help you along in your fitness journey. Let's have fun, work hard, get sweaty, and of course, help you. I'll see you guys on the next one.